what's up YouTube this is part 9 of my sapphire walkthrough alright so last time uh, we rescued the Devon goods um, from Team Aqua uh, that was the last little bit of the episode there so uh, I'm just gonna give you a quick look around Slateport there's the uh, there's the fan club and the uh, name raider there so if you wanna um, uh, nickname your Pokemon or change their names, you can uh, go there. And this is a little uh, marketplace where you can go. There's a few coolish things you can get there, but I'm not really going to um, do anything there. What is in this house? Nothing much, really. Uh, they, oh, this guy's just explaining um, how different uh, natures affect your Pokemon. I.e., that was a hasty nature, which um, gave you an increase in speed. Alright, so... Uh, also, if you want to do a uh, Pokemon contest, there's the little Pokemon contest hall there, and I'm going to head up into Route 110. Okay, so uh, this part here, here's the cycling road. Um, you don't actually have a bicycle at the moment, so I can't really go on there. So uh, we will see that part in a little while once I have a bicycle. Alright, so um, a few trainers in this episode, but we need uh, we need to actually beat them for some experience. Uh, so I'm going to start off with my Tailu. Uh, he's pretty actually pretty close to evolving, so uh, I'm not going to send him in against an electric Pokemon, so I'm, gonna, I'm going to my uh, Kabuskin. Uh, so these things are so annoying. If you have any par paralysis heals, I, will, I suggest you buy some just for this little bit, because they're really annoying. They just keep uh, using Thunder Wave and Growl and yeah, really annoying stuff. So I'm just going to use Ember because it's a special attack and that hasn't been dropped. And I got a burn too, so that was uh, pretty cool. Uh, yeah, so he's just going to keep, he's pretty much just going to keep spamming Growl. So also in this location, you can catch an Electric, a Gulpin. Um, they're pretty cool. And a Magikarp, if you've got a, um, got that old rod off, uh, Duford, and a Plusle, Minin, uh, Pelop on the water, oh, I, we don't actually have Surf yet, but you can come back and get a Pelop if you really, really want to. Um, a Tentacle, um, a Whalemar, a uh, Wingull, and of course your Zigzagoon, well you pretty much get them everywhere, so... If you want a HM Slave, they're pretty good to get. So, what's this last Pokemon? Oh, so it's a Minum. So this guy's got a Plusle and a Minum. So, Derp. Of course he did. Anyway, so I'm just going to keep using Ember. And that's going to... That should kill in about four moves. Um, doo -doo -doo. Also, I'm thinking if I should probably get... Um, I don't know. I don't think I like any of the Pokemon in this area. I'm actually, I'm not going to get any of them. I don't really like any of the Pokemon in this area. Oh, I'll, I'll get someone in another area. So I'm going to escape using Ember against this mine. I'm going to get a lucky, eh, lucky, lucky critical hit. So uh, mining goes down. And I'm going to get my level 20 very, very soon. So I get 1200 bucks off that lady. And that's cool. So uh, this is the trick house part here. If you want to um, do some uh, little... Yeah, something different in there, you can do that, and it progresses, so if you pass one stage, it goes to the next and the next, but you obviously need, um, you need to clock the game a little bit to actually uh, go to the, some of the levels in there, because it requires a few HMs, I'm pretty sure, and also the uh, the Pokemon levels actually go up a little bit. Alright, so we're into Route 103 now, so you get, get a Poochina, a Zigzagoon, a Wingull, Magikarp, Pelipar, a Sharpedo if you're lucky, um, a Tentacle and a Walmart. So I might get a Sharpedo, that's pretty cool. Uh, that's pretty cool. I might get one of them. Anyway, so um, I'm just gonna, there's a few little trainers up here I'm just gonna verse uh, before um, I head up anymore. So, and there's a little twins there. So you're gonna have, if you've got two Pokemon, you can actually have a double battle. All right, so this guy's got a Skitty and uh, I'm pretty sure this is, this is a rare Pokemon. I'm very sure this is a rare Pokemon, or you can only find them in like uh, certain days or whatever. I'm not sure, like if anyone knows about that, they can, yeah, properly say or whatever. All right, so this uh, Skitty's got an Iron Berry and I'm just gonna keep using Wing Attack because that's my uh, main stab move and I get a nice crit again, so awesome. Uh, 21 there for my uh, Pimp Bird and 2 to 2 experience, so yeah. I'm going to switch my Combuskin first, I reckon, because he needs a bit of experience. So head up this way towards this little uh, lakey part, and this, this guy running around 
Uh, this guy's probably going to have like 500 magic up, so this is going to be a really, really entertaining, fun battle <laughs> for you to experience. So he's got three magic up thoughts. <laughs> so level five magic up. Uh, just uh, these things don't really give uh, very much experience at all, but yeah. So you can pretty much just go through them pretty fast. I was actually considering getting a magic up, but um, mm, nah. I'll get something. I'll get a different kind of water Pokemon. I know, I've already figured out my grass Pokemon I want to get. I want to get a uh, Tropius for my grass Pokemon, and I was thinking of getting maybe a Tentacruel for water, but um, that's not really confirmed yet, but my grass Pokemon is definitely confirmed, because that will um, help me a lot against uh, my rival's uh, Swampert in the latter part of the game or anything, and uh, there's a few gyms that are weak to grass as well, so that'll um, definitely, definitely come in handy. Okay, so I get 600 bucks off him. That was an easy win. There's not much to do here. Ah, yes, I'm going to reverse these twins. Okay, so... Uh, let me see. What are these What do these twins have again? I forgot. They're, oh, they're both wearing yellow. Cool, they're matching. So, twins Amy and Liv have a uh, plus one. Oh, and mine. Oh, I hate these things so much. <laughs> so, I've only really got two Pokemon, so... Uh, yeah, so Wing Attack and Ember. They're probably the best two attacks that I can possibly do against them. Uh, so they've got priority moves being Quick Attack, and they're probably definitely going to, as I said before, you might want to bring a um, couple of Paralysis Heals because they do pack uh, Thunder Wave. And they've got Annoying Growl as well, so you might, uh, it might be good to have a, a special attack move there because they're very annoying to kill. Uh, so they're just going to keep spamming Quick Attack, which is doing really no damage at all, so, and Wing Attack's not very effective, so, which is a little bit of a bummer, so this is going to be a little bit of a, um, a long match. Do, do, do. I'm actually... I'm still thinking what, why, what my other two Pokemon would be. Um, I might get... Actually, a whale mode would be kind of cool as well, because you can get that to learn water spout, and water spout's pretty cool. Anyway, so uh, back to the walkthrough. Plus all is uh, is going down to my wing attack finally, and mine is left. So one more to go. So 205 experience for both of my Pokemon, and I get level 20 with my Combuskin. So uh, Ember and wing attack spam now. So Helping Hand um, is not going to do anything. Uh, if you don't know what Helping Hand is, it's basically a move that... I'm pretty sure it targets um, you instead of your opponent, so they don't take damage, but you do. It's kind of like, yeah, attack me, not them, <laughs> pretty much. So uh, one more quick attack, and Ember should finish this mine I'm off. Uh, oh, nearly. And so <laughs> he hits me with the second quick attack, and I'm... F oh my god, I hate getting paralyzed. So uh, quick attack's going to finish this mine I'm off, finally. So he goes down, and I get my little experience chunk, so 205 to both of my Pokemon. And Amy and Liv have been beaten, so I got 385 Poke Dollars for that. Alright, so once you finish finally this doing this area, um, I got some Soda Pops from before. I'm going to give that to Mike and Buskin. Uh, yes, I got a Paralyzed Heal as well, so I'm going to give that to Mike and Buskin as well, because I hate being paralyzed. Okay, that's pretty much all I need to do for the items. Do do and um. Let's head out of this area. I'm actually going to switch up my Pokemon there. Um, put Combuskin first, because... Yeah, so back into Route 110, and we're actually getting close to the part where you verse your rival. So, in this grass is the Zigzagoon. Of course, it's going to appear like 2,000 times. I'm just going to run away from it, because... Yeah, it's not going to give me a lot of experience anyway. So, there's quite a few trainers here, and there's a little Pokeball um, there. That'll be a direct hit. Uh, direct hit, uh, I'm pretty sure it uh, raises your accuracy and uh, critical, I'm pretty sure. Or one of the two. Anyway, so uh, trainer Timmy is here. Here's a Puchina and awesome on fighting types. This is going to be really, really easy. I'm just going to use uh, double kick and that'll be no sweat taking uh, Puchina out. So easy easy experience here so and I know my rival is coming up and he will have a so when you verse him he will have a marsh stomp at this time so <clears throat> excuse me so make sure you have some kind of Pokemon to counter it because Combuskin at this at this point of the game if you haven't if you've done about as much training as I have 
probably won't be able to kill it because it does pack water gun and you will go down to about two water guns as pathetic as that sounds <laughs> but that um, that's what will happen uh, anyway um, he had an arrow on and double kick uh, deal with that nicely so last Pokemon is Electrolyke so Electro Electrolyke was actually funny not was the first shiny Pokemon that I, I ever found in uh, a Pokemon game and it was in this area as well <laughs> well believe it or not so that was uh, pretty cool, and it was in—it was actually on Pokemon Ruby, like a hard copy that I actually had at home. So that was awesome. That was my very first shiny I actually caught. Uh, anyway, back to the game, level 21, and I do not want to learn Sand Attack because, yeah, um, there's much better moves you can learn than that. So I didn't learn Sand Attack, and I beat Youngster Timmy. Uh, being cool isn't enough to win. Really? <laughs> anyway, so head up uh, north here and ah, and here is our rival. So, get ready to verse him and get ready to beat his uh, Marsh Dawn because that's probably his strongest Pokemon. So, uh, Brendan would like to battle. He has three Pokemon, so he leads off with his Shroomish and I'd lead off with my Combuskin. This is going to be pretty simple. I've got Ember and Peck. Uh, choose whatever one you like depending on your uh, stats I think my special attacks are tiny a little bit higher I may be wrong anyway uh, he goes for the stun spawn that's <laughs> fuck's sake annoying because I actually used up my last par par ah, paralysis here oh, god that's a tongue twister sometimes um, and I take him out with a, a second peck there so that's super effective as well alright so 250 XP there so he's gonna go into marsh stomp uh, yeah I'm going to switch into my Tailu just so I can pull off an, an, as much damage against this as this uh, thing as I possibly can. Even if my um, Tailu does go down, I just need to weaken this a lot. So uh, wing attack is my main uh, stab move. Stab meaning same type attack boost. So it's a flying move and a flying Pokemon, so you get a boost. Okay, so that applies with every kind of Pokemon and the same type of uh, move they're using. So he's got Water Gun, as I thought. One more, um, and I'm going to go down, but I'm going to go for another Wing Attack here, probably. Let me see. I do have Soda Pops in my bag, but... Hmm, nah, I'm just going to bugger it. There's no real point. I've, I can, I'm quite confident I can knock him out um, with my Combustion after. So I go for a wing attack there, hoping for a crit, but I didn't get, actually get it. So uh, unfortunately, my Taylor is going to go down. But uh, in hindsight, Marsh, Marsh Stomp is actually weak now, so I can finish it off nicely with a double kick. Uh, unfortunately, my uh, being paralyzed actually gives you negative speed, so I will get outsped there. And, but I do hold on nicely with uh, 17 HP to finish him off with the double kick. Okay, so you get a nice chunk of HP for um, beating his Mask Stomp there. So I get 615, nearly takes me to level 22. And his last Pokemon is a Numal, which is a, a little fire type Pokemon. And I quickly use my Soda Pop there just in case something awful was to happen so it only has tackles that's pretty uh, easy so I'm just gonna go for uh, the double kick he does have growl but uh, that's not really gonna phase me too oh my god paralyzed fuck <laughs> anyway so he goes for another tackle and it's gonna he's doing no real damage second time paralyzed in a row my god um, <laughs> another tackle finally I get a double kick off and one more should finish it off unless he doesn't use tackle oh sorry I mean growl again so Tackle um, hits me for the fourth time in a row, and I take his Numal out with another double kick. And that should take me to level 22. So 339 uh, experience there, and level 22. Awesome. So I defeat Brendan there, and he's starting to realize that I am a formidable rival. So you've trained without me noticing. Here, take this. So you obtain the item finder. And that is pretty much all I'm going to do for this episode and we're going to head up uh, north that way after so thank you for watching